welcome student in our e-learning platform i am abhilasha singh and today i am going to start chapter 2 of class 7 that is formulas and functions student this chapter is very interesting because it is similar to maths and i know you all are inter interested in maths so here are the contents of this chapter introduction formulas have the following headings and function is also some headings and the last that is the assignment for you before starting this chapter formulas and function both are the feature of the excel so i want to tell you what is the excel excel is a microsoft electronic spreadsheet which is used for storing data performing simple as well as the complex calculation this chapter is whole about the formulas and the function function are the predefined or the inbuilt formulas that come with the excel and the formulas are the user defined instruction to perform the calculation so let's start with the formulas formula are used to perform the calculation like the addition subtraction division and the multiplication a formula have the operands and the operators as you can see in the example here a1 v1 and c1 are the operand and the plus sign and the minus sign are the operands and how we can write the cell address a1 in a1 here a is the column of column and 1 is the cell here move to a next heading that is the types of the formula here two types of the formulas are here first that is the basic formula and the second is the compound formula in basic formula only one type of the operator is the as you can see in the example here b2 b3 b4 b5 it is say all have the same formula or all have the same operator like the sum operator but in compound formula there is a different type of the operators are here a definition is it involves more than one operators like asterisk that represent the multiplication here and the slash uh, represent the division a compound formula have more than one operator and the last that is the text formula it perform addition on the character or text just take a example if you are storing a1 i am in a1 cell and possible in a2 cell and you want to add both the words or both the character you have to write the formula like this equal to sign a1 and a2 here and represent the concatenation and all the formulas start with the equal to sign okay if you want to see the result if you are writing this formula in the formula bar then you get this result i hope you will understand well move to a next heading here are the example of the simple formula and the compound formula let's talk about the simple formula as you can see in a simple formula here b2 b4 store the 32 value b5 32 b6 35 b7 43 and b8 24 and you want to sum sum all the values and you have to store in the b9 then in b9 cell you have to write this formula and you also you can see here there is only one operator here that is the add or that is the sum formula but in the next example you can see here there are many type of the operators are here like addition division subtraction and multiplication according to bodmas rule in, as well as the same as the mathematics you have to this calculation with the help of the bodmas rule okay move to our next heading that is cell range a cell is the inter intersection of rows and column as you can see in the example here c5 is the cell that represent a cell here 
columns are identified the letters and the rows are identified by the numbers like a b c are the letters here that represent the column 1 2 3 4 are represent the rows here and how you are writing the cell at uh, cell name firstly you have to write the column name or column alphabet then you have to write after that you have to write the row number then you will write the that that is how you can write the cell name that is the c5 okay move to the next uh, figure that is the example of the range firstly i want to tell you what is the range a range is a group of the contiguous cell which form the shape of the rectangular as you can see here here the shape of the rectangular it also shows the values from the starting with the a1 and ending with the a8 as you can see in the example with the help of the range we have to select the sum value from the starting from one value from the and ending with the next value okay move to a next heading that is a cell reference and then its type a cell reference or a cell address is a combination of a let column letters and the row number that identify a cell on a worksheet basically cell reference are of three type as you can see in the figure relative cell reference absolute cell reference and the mixed cell reference let's talk about these type of the cell reference start with the relative cell reference this cell this type of the cell reference is a normal cell address okay as you can see in the formula bar here there is some formula is written here like equal to d10 multiply by e10 once you have to copy this value or this formula and you want to paste in the another cell then the value will no, automatically will change this is the feature of this cell relative cell reference but in absolute cell reference if you copy some formula and you want to paste in the another cell and you want to uh, don't want to change the values then uh, with the help of the dollar sign you have to put between the rows and the column dollar sign fixed uh, fixed to a specific location when you copy a formula with the absolute cell or absolute reference the address of the cell remain unchanged but a mixed cell reference is a combination of the relative cell and the absolute cell it is a combination of the relative cell references and the absolute cell reference so either the column letter or the row number should have the dollar sign along with it if you want to change the value in the cell reference or if you want to so, copy the something and you want to paste in the another cell and you want to change it in, uh, automatically then you have to use the relative cell reference and you don't want to change the value in the another copied cell then you have to put the dollar sign there okay move to our next heading that is the function this is the main part of the excel function are the predefined formulas in excel to perform both simple and ca complex calculation this is the format of the function here the, here are the format of the function whenever you are writing the function you have to put start with the equal to sign and put the function name there then uh, within the parenthesis you have to put the argument okay here are the some rules for the function that you should have to follow whenever you are writing the function let's talk about these type of the rules all cell function must begin with the equal sign it is also same rule for the formulas formulas and function both are start with the equal to sign okay move to next point that is a function name must be valid cell name because it is predefined that is why it should be valid for example some average min max today etc next function name must be followed by the opening 
or the parenthesis. Next argument are enclosed in the parenthesis. As you can see in the example here, the function start with the equal to sign, and there's a uh, there's a valid argument or function name is here. And here you are putting the cell references or the cell range from where a one to a five. Okay, let's talk about the some common type of the function. Which we are using in Excel or in our daily life. That is auto sum, sum, average, max today. Okay, let's talk about the auto sum. Auto auto sum feature is used to quickly find the sum of the data values stored in a rows or the columns. Auto sum include the different type of the function like sum. Average, max, and today. In this chapter, we have to talk about these type of the function. Okay. Uh, as you can see in the picture, whenever you are uh, clicking on the formula tab, there is a sum auto sum tab is there. Whenever you are putting a uh, uh, clicking on the drop down, you have to see these features like. Average, count number, max, min, or more function. With these type of the drop downs, you can use the function. Let's uh, see the example of these type of the function. Okay. The first example, as you can see in the first example, here the example sum and the function average functions are here. Uh, with the help of the sum function, we have to find the some uh, some between the b2 cell to b4 and you want to add these number and divide with the 3 then you get the value in the c4 okay and if you want to find the average of these number from b2 to b4 then you have to put the argument or the function name here that should be valid function name and put the uh, real or the cell reference that is the from where you want to find the average okay the next is the today function with the help of the today function we can see the date or the today date with the help of this function it display the date it display the current date basically it display the current date whenever you are writing the formula like this in any cell in that cell it shows the date of that day okay here are some more function are here like the max function and min function as you know that in mass max is uh, is the value which find the maximum values and the min which find the minimum value and uh, as you can see in the given data and you find to find the value of the maximum value between these cells then you get the put the uh, this function name is here you have to put the this function name here and uh, put the cell address from where you from where to where you find the maximum value here you get the 27 as you can see in the cell b2 store the maximum value okay and you want to find the minimum value then as you can see in the example here the data are here and you find the values from the b1 to b3 and you want to minimum value that is the that is stored the b1 cell okay let's start the function library function library had has clubbed all the function in the function library group it characterized by their functionality like the mass and trigonometry text date and time etc basically it is used for the complex problems okay let's talk about the managing worksheet how you are managing the worksheet in a excel um, we have to talk about these type like the by renaming and deleting the worksheet changing color of the worksheet okay let's see with the example as you can see in the picture uh, this is the sheet tab which is uh, shown on the 
bottom of the excel or any uh, worksheet okay and you want to rename that worksheet name you have to click on the sheet tab or the double click on it then there is option to rename it and uh, uh, or if you want to right click on the dash sheet tab then this will appear with the help of the rename you can change the name of that sheet and you want to delete that sheet with the help of delete button you can delete it and and you also want to change the color color with the help of the tab color with the help of the tab color you can change the tab uh, color of the dash sheet tab okay here are some practical question for you which is you uh, which you have to do you know for your practice in this assignment you ha you have to create a worksheet in which you would maintain a monthly expenses on a stationery it must must contain the following headings like uh, uh, first in first column you have to write the serial number second column commodity third column price and fourth column quantity and overall you have to find the total for each expenses for each heading by using the formula learned in this chapter i hope you will understand well and i am concluding with these heading with these topics okay so have a good day